Welcome to a sold-out Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Diami Kraken. You know they're named after a monster sea creature, so the fans are called Finns. That's because they're trying to keep the team afloat, Grim. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Los Scandalous Dams battle. The Diami Kraken. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your... Oh, man, the offense going... Airball! Hey, did we start letting ghosts into the NFL rim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Second down and ten. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. A great throw! And oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. First down. First down and six. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down and more than the QB would like. He refuses to go to... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. It must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Third down and never going to happen. Went to the air and came up big. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. A misfired punt will give the opposing... They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two. Well, he won't be waking up anytime soon. And if he does, he'll probably wake up in his own wake. Then it really killed the shot of moon of awake, wouldn't it? And it freak everybody out. point attempt the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever First and ten. And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. Trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. 
firing on you. Just, just shut it up. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. <laughs> and so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down in a very lot. Vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First down and one. Second and three. Third down and three. That was a good throw, assuming he was aiming for the ground. This one's a low pressure kick. As low pressure of a kick can be when the other team is encouraged to rip you limb from limb. Now that's what's so frustrating about kickers. They're all head cases. All that work and they come up empty. That sucks. And it's first and ten. Oh, man. You know, they train those things to eat only visiting players. But when they're hungry, they'll eat anything. Yeah, sometimes I eat my cup. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Up maybe I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Yeah, you're 
Ja, 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 ja. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. about a six-yard gain. Hey. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And that'll be second down and four. The defenders one he just kicked in. He's so fast, he can run it. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn return and grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Well, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Second down and long. run right there. Hey, speaking of huge runs, Rex, why don't you put a cork in that gravy maker of yours, huh? Hey, I'm dying up here. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Brex. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Brex. You're an idiot. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard... Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is... The Krakens win at home by forfeit. And that sure beats a sharp stick in the eye, especially after you poke the other guy with it first. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls win. I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other.